In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> D 
Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <laughs> Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah. But she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <gasps> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote Cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then, so what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there.
Every star looked the same, until we used Karen's old guidebook. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. My back hurts a little. Tough.